Okay, for the uh, sensory examination, uh, again you must have this uh, cotton wool for the light touch, or you can use your finger, but normally best use a cotton wool. Um, for pen prick, as I mentioned before, this one, the sharp end, orange stick, which you sharpen it at the end, and the other end is a blunt uh, tip. Or you can use a needle. Um, and then for the temperature uh, discrimination test, you, you must have cold and hot uh, test tube containing fluid, 43 degree and 7 degree at least. Um, and then you ha must have this um, um, tuning fork, uh, 128 or 256, okay, uh, for vibration sense. For joint position sense, you use your finger. Okay, to start with is a light touch. Light touch um, is a subjective examination. Uh, the patient gives a response, so you have to explain to the patient carefully, and then uh, all the result depends on the patient. Okay? Uh, saya nak check you punya uh, rasa eh. uh, Kalau you ada rasa uh, You beritahu uh, Yes Ataupun beritahu ada Senang Melayu eh. Melayu You beritahu ada okay. Kalau tak ada senyap eh. okay. Kalau you rasa ada Ada touching something You rasa ada okay. So untuk um, Light touch I take the cotton wool Okay uh, You can So you can touch uh, any area of abnormality Okay You check patient understand or not um, Of the examination Can you feel it? Hmm. Tajam ke tumpul? Tumpul, ha, tumpul Okay So macam kapas kan kasihan Okay So now next you, you ask the patient to close the eyes You test the area of the abnormality Complained by the patient For example this area here So you touch from The center of the area Kalau ada rasa bagi tahu hmm. Ada Okay so you, from there you proceed further ada ada juga sini ada, ada. sini ada, ada. okey here ada, ada. okey the, the point is you should mapping the area if the area the complaint by the patient is around here then you should proceed here the patient normally should say um, cannot feel anything there or reduce and then you should go here if patient say ah now it's normal or now feel like the one before so you mapping again going downwards and you mapping uh, going laterally and medially okay going upward so you know this area here so mapping process so for the light touch so basically uh, light touch you can screen quickly by doing like this uh, for the physical examination okay touch there rasa tutup mata ada rasa tak ada okay ada rasa tak ada okay ni eh? ada rasa Ada. Ada. Ni? Ada. Ada. Ni? Ada. Ni? Ada. Ni? Ada. Tak ada. Okay, so you can uh, do some trick whether the patient lying to you or not. Okay. Um, for the abdomen again, you can do this. Tutup mata. So ada. you you um, obscure the visual clue. Ada. Ada. Eh? ada. Ni? Ada. Ni? Ada. Ada. Okay. So same thing for the lower limb. So, uh, sama je buka mata Kita nak check you punya kaki sama dah uh, Tutup mata Ada rasa? Ada Ni ada rasa? Ada 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 Ni? Ada Ada Ni? Ada Okay um, For the light touch also you should do on the face For the trigemino Okay uh, Ada rasa tak? Ada Ni? Ada Okay, same thing Tutup, uh, tutup mata dah Tutup mata Ni? Ada. Yeah. Ada. Okay. Okay. Next, we're gonna proceed with the pain prick. Pain prick. Um, uh, buka mata. Saya nak uh, sentuh punya tangan. Kalau rasa tajam, bagi tahu tajam. Lah. Kalau rasa uh, tumpul, bagi tahu tumpul. Lah. So, you, you boleh rasa ni. Tajam kan? Ni. Tumpul kan? So, you have two and one sharp, one blunt. So, you can compare or you can alternate. Um, okay. Now, close your eyes. If there's area of complaint here, you start with the area of complaint. Okay, ada rasa? Okay, normally patients say uh, reduce or absent. Then you mapping again, same thing, mapping. Okay, 
Now, for the random screening, you just do like this uh, for the pain. Uh, to start with, you have uh, to know you have to know your, your dermatomes. Okay, rasa. Ni. 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 Sama lah. Apa yang rasa tajam ke tumpul? Tum tum tum. Okay. Ni. Ta tajam tumpul. Ni. Tumpul. Okay. Ni. Tajam. Okay. Now C2, C3, C4, and then C5. Okay, same thing. You, you, you do the same thing down for according to the dermatomes. Um, here, I said tajam. Okay, for the lower limb, same. Um, L2, what did I say? Tajam. Ni? Tumpul. Okay, so you alternate with a sharp and blunt so that the patient uh, not lying to you. This one? Tajam. This one? Ni? Tajam. Okay, ni? Tumpul. Okay, here? Tajam. Here? Tajam. So, it's, it's a pain prick. Okay? Same thing on the face. Um, tutup mata, rasa? Tajam. Tajam. Ni? Tajam. Sama tak? Dua-dua belah. Okay, sometimes you have to ask equal or not, right and left. Okay, this one? Tutup mata? Tajam. Ni? Okay. Um, that's for the pain prick, spinal thalamic tract. Um, next, we go for the um, um, temperature discrimination test. For the temperature discrimination test, we use a two test tube, one cold, one hot. Okay. Uh, you test for the normal side first. Let's say that's the area of the abnormality. Rasa sejuk kan? Ni rasa panas okay. Not too hot because it can cause uh, scalding um, Now close your eyes And then you do test Ni rasa panas atau sejuk? Sejuk Sejuk Yang ni? Panas Panas. So if patient complain uh, numbness it, they, can, they cannot differentiate between cool and hot Okay. If quick screening you just do Rasa Ni rasa According to the method, I do, I do it on T2 and now for the uh, hot, that's a panas, yeah, so same, it's a hot. Yeah. For the cold, now I'm going for T4, T4, the method around the nipple, T4, that's a joint, that's a. So the point is, the patient can differentiate or not between cold and hot, okay? Uh, you should not do cold, cold, you should do together, cold and hot. The, the point is discrimination test. For the, um, again, it depends on the area of ab abnormality. For the lower limb, same thing. Let's say here. Rasa sejuk. Ni? Rasa panas. That's normal. If abnormal, patient cannot differentiate whether this is cool or whether this is hot. Okay. Okay, for the um, second part of the sensory test, is a uh, deep uh, sensation. Um, consists of uh, joint position sense. Um, and then uh, vibrations and also deep pain um, but normally what we do is a two component of three uh, vibration sense and joint position sense uh, okay for the joint position sense uh, you use a thumb for the upper limb or you use anything any uh, finger uh, start distally to proximally okay uh, first you have to hold uh, rightly um, with your left hand, okay, uh, side of the thumb, not like this, uh, upper and lower, it must be side, okay, you hold with the right hand like this, and then you move, this one, that's it, atas, eh? ni, bawah, kan, tahu kan, ni, atas, ni, bawah, okay, so now ask the patient to close the eyes, uh, tutup mata, kalau rasa atas, bawah, pergi tahu, eh? if you feel it's moved down, you you, you, tell, you say down, if it moved up, you say up, okay, uh, Ni? Bawah. Ni? Bawah. Ni? Bawah. Ni? Atas. Ni? Bawah. Okay. Um, the movement, um, if there's a minimal uh, abnormality, then you should move slightly only. Okay? Um, that's for joint position. Sign. Let's say it is abnormal, then you move uh, more proximal. So now for the wrist, same thing. You stabilize the proximal end 
and then this one up, this one down. Okay, can you, can you close your eyes? Okay, so again you go up to the elbow, same thing, this one up, this one down. So you can go up further. So for the lower limb, um, checking for the joint positions, joint position sense of the lower limb, same thing. Um, you hold uh, the big toe with your left hand, side of the big toe, uh, not uh, up like this because your movement can uh, can tell whether it's up or down if you hold like this, the pressure uh, being given. So you have to hold side. So side and and then the other one is side and as well. This one move down, this one move up. Okay. Now ask the patient to close the eyes. Obscure the visual clues. Uh, to uh, This one. Ne? 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 Okay, you can do down, 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 or up. Okay? So joint position. Let's say it's abnormal, you go more proximal. For the ankle, you stabilize one one uh, uh, bone and then move the other bone. And this one up, this one down, okay? Close your eyes. Ne? 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 Okay, same thing for the knee. Um, this one, okay, up, this one down, okay. So you should go uh, more proximal. It's, it's not good, it's, just, it's not well localized. Um, logical examination. Pain prick and sensory, sensory light touch is the best one. Uh, next, uh, for the deep sensation, is a deep pain. Uh, I hardly use that because you can induce pain to the patient. What you do is just press on the um, nail back or any uh, uh, the pulp of the finger. Okay, you you squeeze, but uh, it's not routinely done. Okay, uh, deep pain. Okay, now um, the end part of the um, perfection or deep sensation is the. Uh, tuning fork examination. You use a one two eight or two five six. For the tuning fork uh, vibrating test, uh, you can use for the upper limb on the bony prominence. For example, the knuckle, metatarsal phalangeal joint, or around the wrist, or stylo process of the radius, or the elbow, and you go up more to the uh, humerus, and then you can up to the sternum, and then to the uh, spinous process. For the lower limb, um, around the joint. Uh, here, first metatarsal phalangeal joint, medial malleolus, knee, and then anterior iliac spine, and um, sternum. So, first I do from below up. So, for the lower limb, um, you must make a vibration by uh, banging the tuning fork on half object, and then first you have to explain to the patient. Let's say that when you have a vibration here. Okay. Uh, okay. Bukan bunyi dia. It's, it's not the sound. It's a vib vibrating uh, movement, mm. vibration. Okay? So again, make sure patient understand. Again, vibration. Okay. Okay. Now you close your eyes, and then tell me whether you feel it or it's now gone. Okay. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Gone, still present. And then you put uh, anywhere on the normal side. Okay, you still can feel it. That means something reduced there. Uh, but the point is, in abnormal condition, when you bend here, patient cannot feel it. Then you have to move more medially here. Medial malleolus still there's no vibrating uh, vi vibration felt. If there's no vibration, you move up to the um, patella. Let's say no vibration, then you move up to the anterior leg spine. Okay, that's for the lower limb. For the upper limb, same thing. Okay, you put it on the any bony prominence. Let's say. Okay, if abnormal, patient say none. Okay, if it to comp whether it's reduced or not, you timing. Once it's gone, you put. Then after that, you put it on the normal side. Let's say it is it is gone, and then you put here. Okay, it's still present. I mean, it's reduced. Um, and then go more proximal. Near the laser, say it's it's not there, nothing there. And then you move up to the uh, bony prominence, olecranum. Nothing there. You go to the clavicle, okay. And then if nothing there, you go to the spinous process at the back. That's it. Okay. Now we proceed with the uh, cortical sensation. Cortical sensation uh, consists of uh, graphesthesia. 
where you draw on the palms or the forearm or the 